I've done what she's asked. I've unscrewed the lid. It's up to you now. <sighs> oh. Planning on cooking something nice tonight? <laughs> I don't think so. I'm just looking for some ideas for Ian. He wants to reinvent the burger. You know, bunless for the carb watchers with sweet potato fries. Oh, you don't sound so sure. Well, if you want a burger and chips, don't you just want a burger and chips? And do you like with a flat hat, Jane? Uh, no, no, not yet. Well, there's no rush. You can stay as long as you like. Mr Coker, he's usually very professional. His wife's a bit of a gossip, but then you can't hold that against him. I want you to him, promise me that if you want to lift the lid and see him, you will only do it with me there. It's very upsetting. I'm not going to let you do it on your own. Please, promise. You're a good boy. I'm very grateful to you, you know, for arranging the funeral and the coffin. Yeah. Watch what you're doing, that's my best china. You're like your father, you're heavy handed. <laughs> I might like him in other ways. Well, I don't really know you, do I? You look more like your grandfather. My Charlie. It's strange having you here. You, me, and your father. But it's not the way I would have wanted. I think I'd like some time alone with him. I'll get that. Just, uh, remember your promise. Thank you. Oh, is that Dot around? She's busy. Uh, sorry, who are you? A grandson. A oh, grandson? Well, I've known Dot all my life and she's never mentioned a grandson. Charlie Con. Afraid Dot didn't know I existed till a couple of weeks ago. Listen, give me the flowers, I'll tell you, Paul. Well, I'd really like to see her. Let her know people care, you know. She's in with my dad. She's saying her goodbyes. Right, well, um, tell her Sharon called and I'll, I'll call back later. Sharon, right, thank you. I have missed you, Nick. 